Good evening. How's everyone doing? It was a very interesting day today. So I stayed home all day because I was expecting a package. An uh, iPhone, exactly. My uh, daughter needed a replacement iPhone. So I needed to stay home all day because it was going to be delivered. And my neighborhood, they will take the packages off your porch. So I needed to be there. So finally around about 3 o'clock p.m., I was able to get out. So when I got in my car, I noticed there was something in my car that says my tire pressure was low. And I figured, well, okay, on Monday I'll um, go get some air or something to put in a tire because I was going to be a little bit eat, uh, busy this weekend. So anyway, I decided, okay, so the package is here, so let me go get my nails done. So I go into the nail shop and I pick out the color that I want my nails to be. I like gel nails, right? The gel colors. So dude... Okay, he gets the color I want, which is really beautiful, um, the red. And the, the last time I went over there, some, he had some guy in there working, looked like he was over 50, hip-hop dude. And he really messed up my nails. But p prior to that, um, I picked out a color, and he thought, well, no, this color looks better. I'm thinking, really? Okay, okay, I'll, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to humor me. I'll go with you. So I went with the color he Picked it, with, it turned out to be a really nice color, but he did a really bad job on the nails. I didn't like them. It was okay. It turned out okay because I don't know what he did and it kind of all the flaws kind of disappeared. So it turned out okay. So I go back this week to the guy who owns the shop. And so I pick up my color and then, so he's polishing my nails and I notice he skips a nail. I'm like, okay, that's interesting. So then he gets it the pretty ruby red that I love, and then he pulls out this gold glitter nail polish. And he looks at me, and he, and, and he was like, I'm like, all right, okay, I'll go for it. And I'm like, what's up with these guys? Like, trying to tell you how to do your nails. And what's up with me going along with it? But I did. And I'm telling you, they are beautiful. I love it. Gorgeous. I loved my nails. Simple. I don't need anything fancy. Just simple. Beautiful nails. He did a great job. I'll go back to him, but oh boy, from the last time, uh-uh. So anyway, get my nails done. They're beautiful. I love them. I go to my car and something says, you know, go check it. To and it's flat. Now I'm not thinking, call one of your people um i have roadside assist and all that let them come put air in your tire plus i don't even know how long i drove with them like that so when i get to the car dealership which is two blocks up the street the tires are bad i mean they're just bad so the guy tells me um well you really the tires are messed up you can't put air in it so i'll put your spare on because we don't even have that size tire anyway and I'm at the dealership where I bought the car it's a Chevrolet it's a Chevy Malibu 2015 beautiful car love it um so he put the spare on but I think I'm covered so it was too dark and I was too tired to go into the glove compartment and bring out the form to see what kind of um what I had put on the car coverage I had for the car so I'll do that tomorrow but I ain't you know stress and if I need a new tire I just need a new tire so that was the type of day I had today and that's the kind of attitude I need to take you know if God has provided you with a means to take care of a problem that, that arise, then don't sweat it. He provided. Things happen. And praise be to God. He's providing a way for me to fix it, so I'm not sweating it. On a good note, I have an older brother. You know, they use this term Irish twins. Okay, let me see. Irish tent twins, African-American twins, whatever. So my brother and I, for six days, we are the same age. So I called him and I left a message um, for him. I haven't seen him since, I think, 1991, 92, when he left Colorado and moved to Wisconsin. But, you know, I talk from time to time, but not as often as I should. And so, you know, I really miss my brother. And we talked and, you know, talking about him taking care of himself and, you know, just, you know, thinking about himself and just, you know, enjoying life. And it was just really good hearing his voice. And I really pray to God that I get to see him this summer. I, I pray to God that 
I wish all my sisters and brothers we could get together. There's not but four of us. And my oldest brother, of course, he passed away um, when he was seven, sickle cell anemia. He was older than all of us. And I miss him like crazy. I was like four when he passed and he was like seven. And people don't understand, you will still miss your sibling. And I do, I have so many times where I just miss him so badly. And I try to remember to call my mother. She lives in town here with me on his birthday because I know she has moments. There are times that I, that she's okay. I think years go by, his birthday can come. Some years she's good, some she's not. And I think a lot of times she suffers in silence. But anyway, I just really think I need to spend more time, um, just keep in touch with my siblings. Only have, well, two of them are, are not in town. One lives in Oklahoma, one lives in Wisconsin, and I have my younger brother who lives here, and I never see him. Dang, you live right here in town, and we barely see each other, even though we love each other. We love being around each other. We just got all mixed up in our lives. We don't even see each other. I don't even see my nieces and nephews and my grandnieces and nephews, so we got to do better. But that was the kind of day I have, but the message of this video is when God provides, just don't complain. Because things can happen and you may not have a means to get it fixed or taken care of. So when God provides and you have it, praise God. Y'all have a good night, okay? Bye.